flyers are pretty much one of the most common components of a competitive term tournament lists. And if you're playing Sisters of Battle, then you have to deal with them, and the Sisters don't have a dedicated flyer of their own, unless you're using Forge World, and then you can use the uh, Avenger. But uh, otherwise, you know, they don't have their own flyers. They don't have their own anti-aircraft guns, because they don't have flak missiles. Um, they can take Aegis lines, and uh, that that helps, but if you're going up against four, five, six flyers, something crazy like that, then Sisters have a serious weakness where they're, they're having a real hard time taking down any, any sort of flyer. So when you're you're making a tournament list, you don't see Sisters in tournaments much, but let's, let's say you want to play them, um, and you know, you know, you know that you're going to go up against Necron Flyer Spam, or potentially Helldrake Flyer Spam. Um, you might see a bunch of Vendettas, you know, it's possible to field six Vendettas, I think, uh, on a, a double force or a guard list. So you, you could see a lot of Flyers. Uh, certainly Space Marines have them. So, how do Sisters deal with Flyers? Now, if you're going to play straight, pure Sisters, no allies, uh, you have some limitations. Now, what what are they going to be? Well, you don't you don't have a lot of stuff that can hurt a flyer to begin with. Um, and if you're only hitting on sixes, then your chances of damaging a flyer, even if you do hit it, is is uh, reduced. So, I I talk about this with my corn demon tactics. But if you're playing sisters and you're you know you're going to go up against flyers, I, I wouldn't necessarily do this if I'm not going against flyers. But it's actually not a bad uh, not a bad tactic is to take, uh, at 2,000 points, take two fortifications and uh, take um, take two Aegis lines and put dedicated anti-aircraft guns on them. So you could take the quad cannons. Uh, quad cannons aren't strong enough to reliably take out Helldrakes. Um, or you could take Icarus Laz cannons, but the Icarus cannon you know, with only one shot, there's a decent chance you're going to miss. If you decide to use it, you probably want to put someone like St. Celestine or Uriah, someone who almost always hits and gets to reroll on that Icarus cannon. Okay, what other things can you do? I think, honestly, the best anti-flyers are your heavies. So, um, you take Retributors, because they have heavy bolters, they have a pretty good range, they're only strength 5, but they do get 3 shots each, so even... If you, uh, even if you just take Retributors, you're going to get three Strength 5 shots per Retributor, and you take four of them in your squad, so you could get a lot of Heavy Bolters. They're going to hit, but then again, unless you're going up against uh, AV-10 Flyers, you know, it's not likely you're going to do anything to them. You might glance them, uh, and that can help, and if you're rending, because you got your Active Faith, then Retributors can take down a Flyer, but there's just an awful lot of luck involved with that. Same thing goes for Dominions, so if you take a Dominion squad, um, they have a better chance of hitting a flyer because their active faith makes them twin-linked, so they have a 1 in 3 chance of hitting a flyer per per girl um, versus the 1 in 6 that you see in a, in a normal squad. And I say 1 in 3 because you have a 1 in 6 and then a 1 in 6, so a 2 in 6 chance of, of hitting a flyer per shot. Still, except for their Meltas, um, or multi meltas they just just don't uh, don't get a lot that'll damage a flyer. Um, remember though, you can throw crack grenades eight inches. So if the flyer's within eight, eight inches, throw the crack grenade. And if it's twin linked because uh, it's a dominion with an active faith, then it's good. Same thing even goes for standard battle sisters. They get their active faith. They get to reroll ones. So their chance of hitting a flyer is better than the average guy. Um, so dealing with flyers there, that's the limitation. How do you get around it? I would say get, if you know you're going up against flyers, then getting the Aegis lines with multiple heavy shooting guns is, is the way to go. Two of them, you can put them three inches apart, and uh, they're legal, and then give it to, uh, if you're going to use the quad cannon, stick a squad of retributors there, have the retributors, and maybe two girls with bolters. Uh, one of them could be your superior and put them on those guns so that they can they can fire them. It's even better if you can put if you can put two models on the gun 
that uh, two models on the gun that can shoot it, then you could potentially have those uh, in separate squads. The difficulty is they have to be two inches apart. So if you're going to try to, uh, well, no, so I'm giving this advice because it's difficult to interpret how the rules work for uh, shooting these weapons off in a, an emplacement or a battlefield debris. But let's assume two flyers came onto the board. If the same squad is manning both of these guns, I think eventually it's going to be quite clear that the same squad has to shoot at the same target because that's how the shooting rules work. But if you had um, two girls in separate squads that were two inches apart, so, you know, I hate to do this because it's like doing things for advantage, but since you have to be touching the gun, so you, you could have a girl here at the barrel and a girl here at the back, and they're more than two inches apart, and they could choose to shoot two different targets. It's kind of uh, cheesy, but it, it is what it is. Um, and I will be using the intercept rules, so both of these guns are manned by a squad, and then there's one girl who's like, I don't know, a uh, cannonist or something at the end of another gun, giving them the ability to shoot a, a separate target. Okay, so that's Sisters and Flyers. Now, I, I think 6th edition brought in allies. They brought in allies for a reason. Um, allies are part of the game, so... Uh, the other great thing that sisters can do is they can take guard as blood brothers and if you know you're going against flyers and let's say you know that it's almost guaranteed you're going to a tournament and you're going to face a bunch of necrons and helldrakes then the simplest solution is to take imperial guard allies and take a squadron of hydra and the squadron of hydra can shoot down um flyers with no problem uh you know they have skyfire they unfortunately <laughs> can't shoot things on the ground very well, but they can shoot skimmers and uh, flyers, shoot them down with no problem. So that's one option, and the other option is to take your own flyers. Now, the problem is sisters only have the Avenger from the uh, Forge World rules, but uh, guard do not, and so you can easily take uh, Vendetta's, you know, twin-linked LAS cannons are pretty nice. They're going to hit. Um, same thing goes for... Uh, some of the Space Marines, they're not Blood Brothers, but as good as Blood Brothers for most effects. You know, they have flyers, they can shoot things down. So, that's my advice on Sisters. Double Four Sorg with the uh, two Aegis lines. You can put one squad between them, or you can take two Aegis lines and put two different squads on them. Take Retributors with heavy bolters for uh, shooting down flyers that have low armor values. Not going to work on a Helldrake. They can they could, but only if they rend it. And then uh, Dominions, because Dominions can twin link with their uh, with their active faith. It gives them a decent chance of hitting a flyer. And finally, there's one other Sisters Heavy that lets you take down flyers. It's not reliable, but it's one of the best we have. Is Exorcists, because Exorcists could shoot, you know, D6 shots, um, and maybe even a Hunter Killer missile. There's a good chance that an exorcist is going to hit a flyer on any round that it fires all of its shots at it. But um, just like anything else, you know, you're you're looking at a probabilities plus probabilities. So, you know, we have a one in six chance. You could shoot six missiles. You're going to hit once uh, on average, and then you have strength eight. So you have a pretty good chance of penning a flyer, but not necessarily. So. Um, and then the flyer could jink or just have an in-ball save. So there's there's a lot of things to consider. Um, but it's the one thing I, I think sisters struggle with the most because they don't have any of their own dedicated anti-air. I think it's pretty clear we're not going to get a codex anytime soon, so they're not going to get anti-air uh, without taking allies. But allies are part of 6th edition, just like double force orgs and psychic powers. So uh, now all of these things work. So that's that's that for the uh, for the flyers and uh, sisters, and uh, I'll do another tactical later.